The 11th episode of Andor, titled Daughter of Ferrix, is out. This penultimate episode shows us how each character is shaping up for the big finale. From Cassian, to Luthen, to Mon Mothma, to events on Ferrix, here we see the entire series shaping up for an explosive finale. But what secrets does each character still hold? How will each of them react to things on the ground as they unfold? And what about Luthen? And how about Cassian? If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on all new reviews I put out weekly here at Off The Cover. And without further ado, on to the video. Episode 11 takes a step back, and instead of trying to deliver a double episode season finale, the producers use this opportunity to move around all the chess pieces around the board so that everything is in place for the finale. Even though this episode felt like one of the slower, earlier episodes, it does feature one of the best Star Wars scenes all season. This episode proved that whenever Stellan Skarsgård's Luthen is on screen, the show is at its best. It looks like Luthen's big secret is that he's quite the pilot. God damn, this guy can escape an Imperial starship like a boss. This scene was one of the very few action sequences that actually felt like Star Wars, and not just because lightsabers came out of Luthen's ship. I didn't know how much I missed an Imperial officer being shocked by a hunk of junk ship blasting away. Luthen destroying the tractor beam was peak Star Wars. Luthen had just come out of a meeting with Saw Gerrera to warn him against joining Krieger on their mission. This was quite the tense exchange. Here we saw the realities of a rebellion, the realities of war. Upon realizing who he was dealing with, Saw Gerrera had an emotional breakdown in front of Luthen. What else was he hiding? He is the know-it-all guy that will only tell you what you need to know, and that's potentially very dangerous. When the show is exploring the many layers of war and the toll it can bring, it truly shines its brightest. Luthen's speech in the prior episode and this scene truly encapsulate what kind of character Luthen is, a ruthless pragmatist. There is another interesting development parallel to Luthen's subplot too. In the brief scene where we see Bix, the Empire thinks that Axis might be Krieger, and it is unclear whether Bix confirms this or not. If they take her answer as a no, I wonder if they will go for Krieger after all. If so, Saw Gerrera's reaction to Luthen potentially having lied to him again would be quite a spectacle. Back on Ferrix, we see that Marva passed away, and as is custom on the planet, there will be a big funeral to honor this daughter of Ferrix. Her death occurred off screen, so much like Cassian, the audience never got to say goodbye. I thought the few scenes where their droid were quite touching. The droid's reaction very closely resembled to the reaction of a dog losing its human companion. I'm glad we saw her one last time in episode 8, because she was quite the badass character. Back on Narkina 5, Cassian and Melshi are having some trouble going unnoticed from Imperial ships, and they pull in Alex Honnold and free solo their way up a cliff. Here they encounter a couple of natives, which give them a little bit of trouble, but they quickly unentangle themselves and onto a ship where we don't see them again until the end of the episode. Once back on the resort planet, Cassian makes contact with his friend on Ferrix, where he tragically learns his mother passed away. This is probably the most somber moment in the series, and the director hit just the right notes. This was the final key to unlock the season finale. It seems that most storylines will converge back on Ferrix for Marva's funeral. Meanwhile, Dedra merely provides us with a brief cameo in this episode, simply to tell the officers on Ferrix to set up a trap to catch Andor or any rebels that might take the bait. Cyril also makes a brief appearance when he is made aware of the funeral and his chance to get even with Andor. Honestly, in the beginning of the series I found Cyril much more interesting of a character, but as the season wore on, I began to view him as merely pathetic, not really a formidable enemy. Who knows, I could be proven wrong in the final episode. That leaves us with Mon Mothma, who got a surprising development this week herself. Mothma met up with Vel again and explained to the audience exactly what is going on with her finances. I wonder if this means that she will end up marrying her daughter off to Davo's son. Of course, this being Andor, Mothma's daughter has no idea what her mother is plotting. 
It's likely that at some point, mother and daughter will part ways. But exactly how that transition will take place is anybody's guess. Overall, this episode was all about setting up what will absolutely be an amazing season finale. It's unfortunate that it came after one of the season's best episodes and didn't really move the plot along. The common thread of Marva's death is what ends up holding it together, but that can only get you so far. I am super excited for next week's episode, though. I have no idea whether we are being set up for a second season or not, but I've loved everything about this show so far. So here's hoping we get a season finale where all storylines converge and give a satisfying conclusion to the series and set up a future season. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more great content.